this much percentage of marks and you will get a sure shot selection yeah interview is also a factor but i'm talking about written examination only hello everyone welcome to plutus ias guys today we are going to discuss that should you opt for physics as your optional subject in upsc or not okay so let's explore that should we take physics as our optional subject for upsc or not let's get it started so guys first of all if i talk about the course content of physics optional see i am going to make a separate video where i will elaborately discuss the course of physics optional but here i am just giving the overview okay so if i talk about the course content of physics optional so if you look at the course content of bsc honors and msc of delhi university see i am saying delhi university because the course of physics optional is mostly in accordance to delhi university but if you talk about all the major university throughout the country then syllabus is more or less same so bsc honor syllabus plus 70% of msc all of it is in our physics optional and guys physics is not an exception if you take any other optional subject for upsc nearly same is the pattern that the entire syllabus of graduation plus 65 to 70 or even 75% of your post graduation is there in the syllabus of optional subject okay now guys before moving on to the question that should i go for physics optional or shouldn't i go for it first of all see if you want to become an ias officer if you want to qualify upsc so you have to write an optional subject okay and when you have to write an optional subject there are range of optional subjects available out there you can choose from any one of them but guys trust me doesn't matter whatever optional subject you choose you have to work on that optional subject you have to work hard in that subject you have to prepare it plus you have to read reference book of it and many other things i don't want to go into details but overall you have to work hard in that subject guys if you take physics as your optional subject and i am not asking you to dwell extra into physics just give same amount of time to physics that you would have given to any other humanity subject if you just give the equivalent amount of time to physics physics will do wonders for you yes guys physics can make your score boost up like a rocket that's the power and potential of physics okay okay so that being said let's move on so is physics a best optional subject is there no other so optional subject better than physics or is physics a very tough subject hmm? and if it is a tough subject then why mostly people who choose physics optional most of them score very good marks irrespective of the fact whether they qualify mains or not overall but in physics optional their marks are good most of them why so let us see see guys if i talk about the pattern of our examination civil service examination and i am referring to mains okay and interview is excluded fine so total is 1750 why because you see you have got four papers of gs 250 marks each one paper is of sa that is of 250 marks and two papers of optional two papers each paper carries 250 marks makes it 500 so total comes out to be 1750 1750 is the total in mains okay okay guys now let me tell you scoring somewhere between 42.5 to 43.5 percent in your mains gives you a guarantee of selection that means you have qualified the examination that's a guarantee just 42.5 to 43.5 not even 45% or broadly speaking 
not even 50%. Only this much marks, this much percentage of marks and you will get a sure shot selection. Yeah, interview is also a factor, but I'm talking about written examination only. So 42.5 to 43.5 is a guarantee, sort of guarantee of success, okay, in UPSC mains. Now, if we focus on physics and we compare this physics optional with other humanity subject, any humanity subject you can take, I don't want to take names here. So guys, in humanity, if you want to increase your marks just by 25 to 30, if you just want to increase your 25 marks in your humanity subject optional, or you want to increase your 30 marks in your humanity optional, it is a very tedious and tough job. It's very difficult to increase your marks in humanity subject. Whereas in physics optional, increasing 100 marks is comparatively, relatively easier. So, increasing marks in humanity is tough. 25 to 30 marks increment in humanity is tough. Whereas four times of it, of 2500 marks increment in physics is easy. Okay? It can be done very easily. So, scoring 250 out of 500 in humanities, you have to be exceptionally good. When I say exceptionally good, you should have completed your syllabus. You should have revised it at least four to five times. You should have referred to various reference books. Hmm? Those thick reference books, you should have prepared notes of those reference books, well read, okay? You should be. Then you can get 250 in humanity. Whereas in physics, 280 plus out of 500 is a very easy thing. It's very much a doable thing. Every year students from my batch, they get above 280. They get 300, 320, 325 in physics optional. And not only here, throughout the country, people who opt for physics optional, most of them, they score 280 plus out of 500. That's what I said during the start of the video. That irrespective of the fact whether an individual qualifies the examination or not, he scores well in physics optional in comparison to other subjects. So that's a boost. Guys, remember I told you 42.5 to 43.5 is a selection guarantee out of 1750 in mains. And here physics is giving you more than 55% marks out of 500, 250 is 50%. I am saying 280 plus 300 is 60%. So by taking physics optional, you can easily score or you can easily get 60 to 65%. You just need to work that much that you worked in your humanities. Equal amount of work in humanities, if invested in physics, physics will make you score wonderfully well. That's the advantage of physics optional. And that is why, guys, it's not of any surprise. You can check the list in UPSC of every year. You can check the strike rate. Highest strike rate in selection is of physics optional. 14.4 or 14.6 you can check it varies every year why because in physics you don't have to write those big theories because just think if you have taken any humanity subject you are writing those big theories everyone is writing same thing first war of panipat was in 1526 how can you beautify it it's that simple you have to mug it up you have to read many reference books. You have to be exceptionally good. You have to outperform the well-read average student in order to get 50% in humanity. Here, no need to worry about it. It's totally conceptual. Derivations and numerical based on derivations. As simple as that. Getting my point? Just the concept clarity. You write it in your own way. No need to use bombastic words. No use for... No need for obnoxious language, simple English, normal derivations, conceptual clarity, solving the numerical, and that's it. 60 to 65 percent marks are in your pocket. Guys, every year, the topper of UPSC scores somewhere between 52 to 54 percent. 
That's the score of the topper. I mean AIR1 every year. And what am I saying? I am saying physics optional is giving you 55% marks. It can give you 60 to 65% marks more than what are topper scores percentage wise. That's the contribution of physics optional in your preparation. That's why it is one of the sure shot guarantee of success. That's why it makes your prospectus of selection so beautiful and so high. Are you able to understand my point? Okay. So every year in top 10, we have at least one student of physics optional. One student of physics optional. I'm not talking about my institute. Yeah, we also get very good ranks, our students. But I'm talking throughout the India. Students or aspirants who have taken physics optional in top 10, one student you will find of physics optional only. More than one even sometimes, but at least one, that's why I said. So, that being said, guys, physics optional is one of the best choice. If I let me be a bit pragmatic, I won't say best choice, but yes, one of the best choice for you if you are from the background of science in 11 12th you have studied science doesn't matter if you pursued your graduation from some other subject still if you have got background of science then rather going for any other subject consider and opt for physics optional and here at plutus is i am with you we will be working together as a team i'll be your coach and guide i'll instru- instruct you you'll have my notes you'll have my books every saturday We'll conduct a test. Paper will be prepared by me. And getting to 320 out of 500 and 320 plus as a team will make it possible. Thank you.